Welcome back to Franchise Hockey Manager 7 as the Boston Bruins. It is Stanley Cup Finals time as the little engine that could. The number eight seed Boston Bruins are moving on to the Stanley Cup Final to take on the Vegas Golden Knights. If we take a quick look at the Stanley Cup playoffs, you'll see how we got there. We took out the President's Cup trophy winning Tampa Bay Lightning in six games, went on to defeat Ottawa in five, and then in the Eastern Conference Finals, we downed the Columbus Blue Jackets in seven. The Golden Knights uh, swept Minnesota, the Wild, in the first round. They took out the Oilers in round two, and they beat the St. Louis Blues in six games in the uh, Western Conference Finals. So we are taking on the number one seed Vegas Golden Knights here in the Stanley Cup Final. Uh, So apparently we are without Patrice Bergeron, who's out with a swollen ear, Uh, day-to-day. That's a bit of a problem and really unrealistic, but uh, it is what it is. So we are going to have to make a change to our roster, and we're going to be without... Oh, no, I guess he is. He's okay. He's playable. So we're going to go ahead and play it. So as like I said, like we've done in the previous series, we are going to sim ahead to uh, the elimination game, and then we'll play that elimination game. And one thing I noticed in the last episode is that the audio from the game is a lot louder than me. So um, I don't, I don't know if I can de- increase or decrease the volume in the game. If I can, I will. If I can't, uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll just talk louder. Uh, we'll see. So let's go ahead and sim ahead to the elimination game. Game one, we hammer Vegas 5-1, so good start for us there. Uh, we took a 2-0 lead after one period, Pasternak and Stahl got, got us on the board, and then we blew it open in the second, scoring three, McAvoy, Grizzlick, and Craig Smith picking up his seventh goal of the postseason. John Moore, the former Bruin, would pick up a goal for Vegas in the third period, but we win this one 5-1. Uh, Mackenzie Blackwood was outstanding, stopping 35 out of 36 shots. Uh, Robin Lanner struggled 20 out of 25 shots. They outshot us 36-25, but we take a 1-0 lead in the Stanley Cup Final. I really didn't expect this in, in two years. I, you know, Obviously, I want to win, but I wasn't expecting it to, to only take a year. So knocking on wood that, that we're, we're close. So let's go ahead and sim game two. An injured or... Oh, Charlie McAvoy's out now. He's out with a minor facial cut, and he's day-to-day. All right, so let's replace him with Clifton. Let's go to the lines. I don't want Clifton on the top line, so we'll do this, and we'll do that, I think. Yeah, we'll do that. It's going to affect the... No, I think... No, I don't want to leave him... What do I want to do? I guess we just bring in Pellick. I mean, he's more of a defensive defenseman, but he's probably the best def- uh, offensive forward I have outside of Bean, so we'll just do that. All right, so let's play that game. Uh, Sim to the next day. And Vegas takes that one 3-2, and they tie the series at one game apiece. We'll take a look at that as soon as it stops simming. Uh, All right, so it was 1-1 after one, Riley Smith and Patrice Bergeron. We actually were leading 2-1 after two, Sean Corrali from Clifton and Texier. But in the third, Shea Theodore and Riley Smith with his second goal of the game. Uh, Two power play goals in the third period will give the uh, Golden Knights the 3-2 victory, and they tie the series at a game apiece. Shea Theodore with a 97 game rating overall. Um, He's turned into a monster in this save. Uh, Blackwood had another decent game, stopped 33 out of 36 shots. Uh, Leonard was just a little bit better. They outshot us 36 to 26, but it was, I mean, those last two periods, they outshot us 31 to 13. So that's not good. Uh, Charlie McAvoy says game on, so we can put him back in the lineup. Uh, we'll place him with McAvoy, and then we just got to go back in and change the lines again. Change the power play lines, put Charlie back out there. 
So whether I win it all or not, we are going to do the off season in this episode. I think we'll we'll see how it goes. I, that's my plan anyway. Uh, we'll just see how it goes. So let's go ahead and continue to the next game. Let's go ahead and play through it. And we win 3-2. So we take a 2-1 series lead. We win this one 3-2. Two goals in the first period. Charlie McAvoy, just back from injury, scores his sixth. Eric Stahl continues to play really well for us in the postseason, scoring goals 5 and 6. I think he only scored, what, 13 goals in the regular season? Yeah, he scored 13 goals in the regular season. He's got six here in the postseason. They scored a pair in the third period, Smith and Mark Stone but we would hold them off. Again, Shea Theodore with a great game uh, for us. Charlie Coyle looked like he had the best he had the best rating. Uh, Mackenzie Blackwood with another good game, stopping 28 out of 30 shots. So he's played really, really well in the finals. I wasn't expecting him to outplay Leonard, but he has so far. So let's move on to game four and see what we get. Uh, let's see for the next day. And we win that one seven to four, and we are we are one game away from the Stanley Cup final. So let's take a look at this one. Uh, lots of offense in this one. A hat trick for David Pasternak. It was three to two Bruins after one period. Stahl with another goal. Pasternak with two. Theodore and William Car Carlson scored for Vegas. Second period was all Bruins as we put up four. Wagner, Kasha, Smith, and David Pasternak. <clears throat> excuse me, would score to put us up 7-2 after two periods. They'd pick up a couple of goals in the third, but too little too late. And the Bruins are within one game of a Stanley Cup championship. So uh, let's look at our ratings. Pasternak, of course, with an 83, had one goal, three assists. Jake DeBrusque had three assists in this one. Leonard stopped 32 out of 39. Blackwood only, only faced 22 shots. I was able to stop 18 of them, so he didn't have a great game, but he did not need to have a great game. He just needed to be okay, and he was okay. So Pasternak is injured now. Is he able to play? I think so. Let's just look at the roster. No, he's not. Ugh. So we're going to lose. We're going to have to try to do this without Pasternak and without Marshawn, of course. All right, well, no one said it was going to be easy, right? So I hope to get <clears throat> this video and then another video out tomorrow. Um, my Saturday mornings are usually kind of free, so I can uh, I can record a couple of videos on Saturday morning before I got to move on to other stuff. So that's the plan. Uh, scouting. Shane Wright is still listed as the top overall prospect. He looks really good. Uh, our development report. And even if I do win, we're going to keep going because I wasn't expecting us to win, so I don't want to end this after two seasons. Uh, some drop in performance by Demare and Stahl, but they're both, they will both be elsewhere next season. Um, all right, so we have to go to our roster and we have to replace Posternak. What do I do? I guess I can just put him on the injury list. And what forward do I want to call up? Um, Eklund had a really nice season in Providence. Bach wasn't very good. Jacob Lauko was okay. Quinn Olsen was pretty good. Um... I want to call up a two-star guy. I think it makes the most sense to call up Carson Kuhlman. I don't want to call up my. I don't want to call up a prospect and stick him out there in the in in the Stanley Cup final. So we'll call up Carson Kuhlman, who at least has some experience. Now we got to mess with the lines here a little bit. So I think Smith goes on to the first line. Suter will move up to the third. Kuhlman will move to the second. Did we not have David Pasternak on the power play? What the hell is wrong with me? Yeah, all right, well, <laughs> whatever. Uh, we got this far without it. So, all right, we are on to game number five. So uh, I'll be playing the next three games. I don't 
know that I'm going to play them all in this one. If I win this one, we do. Uh, we will do the off season. If I lose this one, we'll we'll do game six. I think what I'll do is we'll play. We'll do either two games in this, which will bring us to game seven, which will be the next episode. Or if we win prior to that, we'll do the postseason. So. Uh, let's go ahead and play and see if we can close it out. So DeBrusque, Bergeron, Smith, Texier, Stahl, Kasha, Wagner, Coyle, Sutter, Frederick, Corrali, Kuhlman, Pelican, McAvoy, Grizzlet, Carlo, Demer, Bean, and in goal for us, as always, Mackenzie Blackwood. Got that save percentage up over 900, so let's go ahead and get to it. Bring my mic a little closer so I can be louder. Uh, I don't think... Sound, yeah, I have the sound on low as it is, so just sort of have to deal with it. So let's play the game. All right, so first shot on goal is held on to by Blackwood, 13 seconds in. Bruins ice it here early on. There's a shot on, saved by Blackwood. That one it goes wide, and it's taken away by the Bruins and cleared out to center ice. Another opportunity for the Golden Knights, and Mark Stone is going to go two minutes for unsportsmanlike conduct. I think it was a four-on-four, four, so one of the Bruins went for unsportsmanlike conduct, too. If they sh Oh, no, we are on the power play. I'm sorry. I missed that. Save by Leonard. 20 seconds left. Shot, save Leonard. Nothing doing on that power play. Vegas kills it off. Offense is going to be at a premium in this one without Marshawn and Bergeron, or without Marshawn and Pasternak. Hopefully Pasternak's injury isn't serious and we'll have him back. Well, if we win today, it doesn't matter. But if we lose, hopefully we get him back here shortly. Save by Blackwood. Shot save. Midway through period one, no score. Game number five as Jonathan Marcheseau is going to go two minutes for high sticking, and we go on our second power play of the game. Vegas out shooting a seven to three here early on. Oh, it's a four on four for the next two minutes, so it must have been matching penalties. It only showed the one on Marcheseau. Held on to by Leonard. Shot from the point goes wide. Saved by Blackwood. That one is cleared down deep. Bruins get it right out though. Not able to get any offense going. McAvoy steals it away. And there's a save by Leonard. No score, eight minutes left. Game five, Bruins lead three games to one. The number eight seed, Boston Bruins, in the Stanley Cup final. And Bergeron's going to go two minutes of four cross-checking. We made some moves at the deadline. We picked up Demare, we picked up Sutter uh, for players that we weren't, frankly, going to bring back, and it really... It, it, we brought in people that could that could help us defensively, so we weren't looking for goal scoring forwards or you know an offensive defenseman. But we we're looking for people that that could really shore things up defensively for us, um, and we were able to get them relatively cheap. Um, Demare was only one and a half star, but he had that 16 defense rating, and Vegas scores there. Paul Cotter, 321 left, so we were able to pick up a couple of good defensive players on the cheap and that sort of helped solidify things a little bit I think although we didn't play well in the regular season after the trade deadline so I'm not sure what it is about the postseason but uh, um, Demare and, and Sutter have, have made a, a pretty substantial difference for us and then we've had forwards who really didn't perform all that well during the regular season doing a great job in the postseason Craig Smith Alexander Texier, um, Eric Stahl uh, have all done really, really well. And there's a breakaway opportunity held on to by Leonard. They've all done really, really well in the postseason for us. So 
A couple of shots right at the end of the period aren't able to beat Leonard, and we go into the second down one nothing. So Cotter scored an unassisted goal uh, with about four minutes left in the first. We actually ended up out shooting Vegas 12 to 11 in the first period. So let's move on to period number two. So we look to avoid a game six. Just trying to end this one now. Another opportunity for the Bruins. Can't beat Leonard. You can just see how thin we are on the forward ranks having to move up both DeBrusque and uh, uh, Craig Smith on that top line. So we're, we're playing players that we wouldn't be normally playing right now. Still looking to break the ice, so to speak. Cleared down deep by the Bruins. 13.50 left in the middle period. Held on to by Blackwood. Face off to his right. Cleared out of play. Another face off to his right. That one's won by the Knights. Blocked by the Bees there, and it's cleared out of play. Bruins win shot from the point. Doesn't make it through. Shot save Leonard. Robin Leonard looking really sharp in this one after getting pulled in the last game. We're at the midway point of this hockey game. Bruins looking to tie it. Vegas looking to extend it to a game six. Another save by Leonard. Shot, Leonard makes the save there. Good opportunity for the Bruins from that left face or that right face off dot. Shot goes behind the net. Picked up by Kosh or by Carlo rather. Breakaway opportunity, shot score. Jonathan Marcheseau from Nicholas Haig and Riley Smith give the Golden Knights a 2-0 lead at the 14-minute mark of the second period. Got to wonder where the offense is going to come from for us now with our two top forwards out. Four minutes left. Save Leonard. That one's going to be... Is that going to reach the goal line? It will. Icing. Another icing. Save Leonard. And Alexander Texier is going to go two minutes for holding. So Vegas already up 2 nothing is going to go on the power play here. minutes left. That one's fired out of play. Face off outside the Bruins zone. There's an opportunity for the Bruins. Breakaway by Texier and Leonard stones him in the final minute of the second period. So we're going to go to the third, down 2-0. Uh, we're out shooting them 22-18, but Leonard has been rock solid in this one. Jonathan Marcheseau scored to give Vegas a 2-0 lead. Let's see if we can score three in the third. We did score seven in our last game, so it's a possibility. Shot save Leonard, and that one's cleared out to center ice. Bruins bring it back in and turn the puck over. out of play. And 
and Texier is going to go again. Two minutes for tripping. So that's Alexander Texier's second penalty of the game. Vegas looking to extend their lead to 3-0. Save by Blackwood. Bruins just killing time, trying to kill off the power play, which they are able to. Shot save. And that one's going to be iced by the Bruins. Six minutes into the third period. We trail 2-0. And Chris Wagner's going to go two minutes for high sticking. So another power play for Vegas. Oh, it looks like it's four on four again. So matching high stick minors. <clears throat> Shot goes wide. Shot goes behind the net. I thought that one was in for a second. DeBrusque tries the wrap around and he can't get past three Vegas defenders. do it for the four on four midway through period number three still looking for our first goal of the game another puck cleared out of play puck is stolen away from Texier Blackwood holds onto that one and makes the, the outlet pass save Blackwood save Leonard Face off to Leonard's left. Shot from the point, Leonard kicks that one out. He's been really good. I think, you know, I mean, I'm basing it off of uh, 2D, you know, 2D graphics that don't make a whole lot of sense, but it looks like he's been pretty good. Shot by Grizzlick from the point is held on to. Cleared out of play. Blocked by McAvoy and held on to by Leonard. We're down to the final five. We need two goals here in the last five minutes. Puck turned over by Kasha. Looks like we're going to have a game six. Cleared out of play. Shot on Blackwood and the Golden Knights. Jonathan Marcheseau with his second goal of the game from Petrangelo and Riley Smith. Make it 3 nothing. We are going to have a game six. minute of play. I hope Pasternak's back for game six. I hope the two extra days and we get on the board with 47 seconds left. Jake DeBrusque unassisted. And that's going to do it as we drop game five, three to one. Robin Leonard stopped 30 out of 31. Kenzie Blackwood wasn't bad. Stopped 24 out of 27 shots. Um, Marcia So scored his 12th of the postseason in the first. He also scored his 13th in the third. And then Jake DeBrusque scored unassisted with about 40 seconds left. So wasn't enough, but, um, you know, it is what it is. We are further along than we anticipated, so we can't really complain. So we're going to go right into game six. It's got a save. Oh, it's June 2nd, so it's going to do, I think, Hall of Fame voting and some other stuff. Yep, Pasternak ahead of schedule. He'll not be as usual, so that's fine. So we're going to dress him. Replace with Pasternak. And we go to the lines. We're going to... Move everybody around here. Pasternak, Bergeron, DeBrusque on the power play. Pasternak, Pasternak. That's fine. Um, Hall of Fame voting. Let's complete our ballot. I'm going to vote for Keith Kachuk. 
I'm going to vote for Daniel Alfredson. I like Daniel Alfredson. I'm going to vote for Vincent Dampus and Pat Verbeek. I was always a Pat Verbeek fan. He was always good in NHL 93 and 94 for the, the Hartford Whalers, so I'll vote for them. So we are going to go right into game number six uh, in just a second. It's time for game six. Sorry about that. I had to uh, I'd eat my lunch. And uh, so we, we I took about a 10-minute break, but I'm back now. So let's get on to game six and see if we can't close this one out. Like I said, if I win this game, um, I don't know if I'm going to go on and do the play the postseason. I haven't decided yet. Uh, it depends on... I don't know what it depends on. I just haven't decided yet. If I lose and we go to Game 7, I definitely will stop and we'll do Game 7. We'll leave you guys on a cliffhanger, as it were. So let's play Game 6. Lines shape up like this. DeBrusque, Bergeron, Pasternak, Texier, Stahl, Kasha, Wagner, Coyle, Smith, Frederick, Corrali, Sutter, Pelican, McAvoy, Grizzlick, Carlo, Demare, and Bean with Mackenzie Blackwood in goal. For them, it'll be Robin Leonard in goal as well. And he's actually been really, really good. So with the exception of that one game, I mean, 9.32 save percentage. Um, so let's get on to, to game number six here and see if we can close this one out. This one's going to be, should be in Boston, right? Yep. At the TD North Garden. Bruins in their home blacks. <coughs> Excuse me. Shot goes wide. Had a tortilla chip stuck in my throat there. That was unpleasant. I had tacos for lunch. Figured you guys would want to know that. Chicken tacos. And a side of tortilla chips. So that was my lunch. Opportunity there for Vegas. Turned away by Blackwood. Three minutes in, no score. Game six. Bruins looking to close it out on home ice. Saved by Leonard. Blocked by Bergeron. Bruins get it out of the zone. Cleared into the far corner. Blackwood kicks that one out. Bruins cleared into the near corner. And my phone beeps. So I'm going to move that over here. At least I'm going to turn the ringer down. No score eight minutes into this one. Not a lot of offense either way. Everyone's trying to get a shot on and it's deflected out of play. Everyone's passing it around the outside. Shot doesn't make it through. That one by Grizzlick is saved by Leonard. Midway through period number one, no score. Leonard makes that save on Charlie Coyle. Bruins get it out. Pasternak, DeBrusque, and Bergeron are out there right now. Opportunity for the Bruins. Kosh is not able to get a shot on goal. Leonard holds on to that one. Face off to his left. One by the Bruins, and they're not able to get a shot on. Breakaway opportunity for Pasternak is saved by Leonard. Best opportunity of the game so far for the Bruins. That one's held on to or saved off the stick of Texier. Texier with another shot saved by Leonard. Shot by Kasha is blocked. Blackwood makes that save, makes that save. Gets the puck over to Corrali. Shot goes wide. Bruins have it. Try to center the puck, but there's nobody home. Final minute of play here in the first period. And that's going to just about do it for period number one. Not a lot of action. We're out shooting them seven to five. It's nothing, nothing after one. Let's move on to the second. And I am recording, right? Yes, I am recording. Okay. I always want to make sure. 
especially since I screwed up that uh, draft day sports video last week. I double and triple check it just about every time now. Puck is cleared out of play. Face off to Leonard's right. Carlo with the shot on is deflected, held on to. Bruins Bergeron gets a shot on and Leonard's able to hold on to that one. Bergeron with a long shot that's gloved down by Leonard. Bruins with another opportunity from the point out front. Texier scores. Alexander Texier from Eric Stahl and Charlie McAvoy four minutes into the second period give the Bruins a 1-0 lead here in game number six. Bruins were able to keep the puck in the zone and eventually Texier was able to jam it home to give the Bruins the lead. Shot by Kasha is held on to by Leonard. Bergeron loses that draw, but the puck's cleared out of play. Shot by, uh, by Pasternak is held on to. Vegas has the puck in the near in the far corner as they change up. And we've got a graphical bug, but we worked our way through it. And the players were able to sort themselves out. Down to the 12-minute mark of the second period. Shot, and that one ties it up. Bad goal given up by Mackenzie Blackwood as Peyton Krebs has four defenders on him and is able to get the wrist shot off between the face-off dots to tie it at one. Blackwood would like to have that one back, I'm sure. Charlie Coyle is now going to go two minutes for interference. We're out shooting Vegas 14-6 to through a period and a half here. Face off one by Vegas. A couple of shots on goal. Blackwood's able to make a couple of tough saves there, and the Bruins get it out. Stone away by Vegas, and that's going to be not icing as Vegas is able to touch it first. Shot on Leonard is saved, and that will do it on the penalty. It's kicked into the corner by Blackwood. Bruins clear it in. Vegas with a breakaway opportunity is going to go wide, and the wraparound is at Stone. Yeah, Mark Stone from Nicholas Waugh and Nicholas Haig gives Vegas a 2-1 lead. So Bruins got on the board first, and then two goals here by Vegas have given them a 2-1 lead in the second period. And Brandon Carlo is going to go two minutes for slashing. So the Bruins go back on the PK. And another wraparound goal. That was not good. William Carlson from Petrangelo and Pacioretty uh, make it 3-1. So Blackwood's given up three goals on ten shots. Period started out positively enough. We scored the first goal of the game, Alexander Texier. The last three have all been scored by Vegas, and we trail 3-1. Like I said, if I lose this game, it's going to be the end of the episode, and we're going to leave it on a cliffhanger, and we'll do Game 7 tomorrow, uh, both, I guess, posting tomorrow and recording tomorrow. So I've got an interview. I've got to edit and stuff tonight, so I don't have too much time, uh, too much more time to actually sit and play games, so. Cleared out of the zone by the Bruins, or cleared out of out of play, so the faceoff is outside the Bruins zone. Three to one, Vegas with the lead. Two and a half minutes left in the second period. Bruins looking to avoid a game seven as Blackwood holds on to that one. Final minute of play of period two. Vegas goes in offsides. That puck goes out of play. Puck rolls in on Leonard. Chris Wagner with the rebound with five seconds left in the period brings us within one. Huge goal by the fourth line. Chris Wagner from the near faceoff dot. A weak little shot in on Leonard. He kicked it out to the faceoff dot. Wagner was able to get there first and uh, 
and pot the goal. So we're through two. We trail three to two. We're out shooting them 21 to 11. Uh, but uh, they're up three to two. So we go to the third, down by a goal. Vegas looking to hang on. Bruins looking to tie the game and hopefully end the series here. Blackwood makes that save. And Pasternak goes in offsides. Shot score from the point. Matt Grizzlick from Sean Corrali and Brandon Sutter. The fourth line does it again. They score with five seconds left in the second period, and then they score a minute and a half into the third to tie this one at three. Matt Grizzlick with the bomb from the left point. That one is going to go not for icing. The Bruins touch it up first. 3-3 three, three now. Just a couple minutes ago, it was 3-1, and we didn't, we weren't looking all that good. A couple of shots saved by Blackwood. We weren't looking all that good, but Chris Wagner scored with five seconds left in the second period, and then Sean Corrali, a minute and a half into the third, has tied this one at three. <clears throat> that one's cleared out of play. Fourth line out there again, held on to that time by Leonard. Bruins fourth line performing really, really well in this game. Shot save. I think that's Sutter. I believe that's who number 10 is. A couple of shots blocked. Cleared out by the Bees. Texier on goal, saved by Leonard. Midway point of the third period. 3-3 three, three hockey game. Leonard puts his glove on that one. We'll take the face off to his right. Vegas wins the draw. Bruins get it back. Lose it at center ice. And it's cleared into the near corner where McAvoy has it. Shot doesn't make it through to Leonard. Blackwood fields that one easily. Shot blocked by the Bruins. Shot blocked by Vegas. Good defense by the Bees, and they clear it in. Eight minutes left now in the third. A 3-3 game six of the Stanley Cup final. Six minutes left. A lot of play in the neutral zone here. Taken away by Grizzlick. Bruins dump it in. Bergeron, or Pasternak's the first one there. Excuse me. Shot saved by Blackwood. Getting into those crunch time minutes here. 4-12 left. 3-3 hockey game. Bruins take it away. Ooh, almost a two-on-one. Blackwood was able to stop that. Held on to, or kicked out by Leonard. Vegas comes down now one-on-four. Two minutes left. Blocked by the Golden Knights. And cleared down deep by the Bruins. Final minute of play. Two shots on Blackwood in the final minute. McKenzie's able to stand tall as the Bruins clear that one out. It looks like we're going to have some overtime hockey. Oh! <laughs> Jonathan Marcheseau with one second left in the third period has given the Golden Knights the win. Four to three. Unreal. Wow, that stinks. All right, well, that's the end of the hockey game. So what looked like a certain overtime game uh, turns into a game six loss as Vegas has come back from a 3-1 deficit to tie this one at three. Uh, first period, uh, no scoring in the second period. Alexander Texier got on the board first. Peyton Krebs, Mark Stone, William Carlson gave... 
uh, Vegas a 3-1 lead. Chris Wagner scored with five seconds left in the second period to bring us within a goal. A minute and a half into the second, Matt Grizzlick would score from Corrali and Sutter to tie it at three. Then with one second left in the game, Jonathan Marcheseau, Marcheseau from Chandler Stevenson would score the game winner. Mackenzie Blackwood with his worst game by far of the postseason, stopping only 14 out of 18 shots. And we're going to go to a game seven. So tomorrow will be Game 7, or not today, I guess, probably tomorrow, will be Game 7. So that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Leave me your thoughts. Let me know what you think. Leave a like, subscribe, comment, etc., etc. And until we talk again, everybody take care. Bye-bye.